Last summer, I took a flight for business and was gone for a few days. My name is Michelle, and on the day I was going back home, I arrived at the airport at 7 a.m. for my 9.30 a.m. flight. The airport was kind of busy, but I was able to get through security and everything with a little bit of time to spare. I got some coffee inside my terminal and then sat and waited. I went on my laptop and did some more work stuff. I had almost a whole hour until my flight boarded, so there wasn't a lot of people waiting near me at first. I was pretty occupied with my laptop and not really paying much attention to anything else until I felt my phone vibrate. I picked it up and looked at it. I saw that I had gotten a text message from a number that I didn't recognize. I unlocked my phone and opened it. The text said, hey. I looked at the number wondering who this was. Just then, I saw the three dots appear as if the person was typing and going to say something else. Then another message appeared and it said, I see you put my phone down and looked all around me. There were quite a few people in the airport. Many others were sitting down and waiting for their flights, and countless more walking by, or even sitting at the coffee shop and restaurant that were nearby. I didn't notice anybody in particular that was staring at me or anything like that. I responded to the number, telling them that I thought they had the wrong number. I put the phone down after that, and hoping that was the end of that. But not more than a minute later, I felt my phone go off again, I picked it up and looked. There was another text. This time, the person said, No, this is the right number. I'm texting you, Michelle. I was feeling creeped out by this point. Maybe it was a prank or something. Then I got another text. It said, You look bored waiting for your flight. When I read this, I looked around again, but still didn't see anything strange. It could have been anybody. I asked who this was, but I didn't get an immediate response after that. Eventually, It was finally boarding time for my flight. I was happy to get out of the airport and on the plane. When I boarded, I put my phone into airplane mode and decided to try to sleep during the flight. We took off and I eventually was able to sleep for a little while. It was just about a two hour flight, so nothing too long. When we landed, as I was waiting for the plane to come to a stop, I turned my phone back on to check things. When I did, I saw I had over 20 text messages. All of them except two were from that same number The other two were from people I actually knew. The messages started out by the person saying they wanted to meet me. Then they said they were on the same flight as me. They once again said they could see me and asked me why I wasn't responding. I was starting to freak out now. I looked all around the plane. It could have been anyone. When the plane stopped and we all got off, I kept a careful eye out, but I didn't really see anything strange. Once we were all off the plane and back at the airport, I walked as quickly as I could to get out of there into my car. Luckily, I didn't have a checked bag, so I could go straight to the parking lot, and I had left my car in an airport parking garage and was walking there when I got another text. The text said, why are you in such a hurry? I stopped and looked behind me. There were people everywhere. I turned and kept walking to get to my car. The closer I got, the less busy the airport became. As I was walking, I blocked the number from texting me more, something I should have done a long time before this. I made my way out to the parking garage where my car was. Now there was nobody else around. I began walking to my car, and then heard the door to the parking garage open and shut. I got a bad feeling, but I kept going. I was getting closer to my car, and then I heard footsteps walking towards me. They were walking at a much faster pace than I was, and in my direction, so I sped up. When I finally saw my car in the distance, I turned to a jog, and was able to get inside of it. I locked the doors immediately and then started my car. I didn't waste any more time in pulling out and leaving. As I did, I saw a man standing in front of my car staring at me. I went right around him as he watched. I didn't get a good look at him, but I know he was wearing a hat and a black jacket. When I got back home, I called the airport and told them about what had happened. I was told they would look into it, and somebody called me back later for more details. I'm thankful the man never caught up to me, and hope nothing like this happens again. About a year ago, I was taking a business trip for work. I was flying to New York and was told through my work that when my flight arrived, there would be a ride there to pick me up in front of the terminal. This was very nice and something I liked about when I traveled for work. I really didn't travel that often for it, maybe a couple of times per year, but when I did, they would always treat me really nice. I got to the airport early and it was pretty busy. 
Our flight got delayed as well, which always seemed to happen, but eventually we got in the air. For most of the three hour flight, I looked over work stuff and listened to music. I got a window seat as well, which was good for me because I always liked to look out of it. By the time we landed, it was 10 p.m. I got off the plane and went over to get my checked bag. I had to wait a little longer for this, and by the time I finally got it, I was really tired and just wanted to get to the hotel. I was looking forward to it because my job had paid for me to stay in a rather nice place as well. I got my bag and then went to the exit. Things weren't too busy by this time, and I went to the sidewalk and saw there were a few cars there, but not many. I saw a couple of taxis and another car that was nearby. As I looked around, I heard a small honk from the car in front of me. I then saw a driver wave his hand out the window, and I went over and asked him if he was my ride. He said yes, and then I got in the back seat with my bags. It was a newer looking black van and had rather comfortable seats. We started driving, and I went on my phone, texting some friends for a while. When I looked up, I noticed that the driver of the van was staring at me through the mirror. It was kind of awkward, and I looked away, but he didn't. He was giving me some creepy looks as we drove, and I suddenly got a bad feeling. I then got a text message on my phone. I opened it up and read the message. The message said that my ride was at the airport waiting for me, a black SUV. I was not in an SUV, and this car did not look like a taxi either, just a regular van. I couldn't believe that I had been so stupid. I said to the man driving that I had accidentally gotten in the wrong car and he was not my ride. The man looked at me and said that yes, he was my ride. I told him no thanks and I would just like to get out. We looked as though we were still in a city area and if I got out, I would be able to get a taxi or another ride. But the man didn't stop though. He didn't even answer me when I asked him to let me out. Instead, I saw that he was now driving faster and more crazy. We seemed to be leaving the city and I asked the man several more times to please stop and let me out. I told him I would pay him for the ride, but he still wouldn't stop. I decided at that point that I would call the police. I dialed and when I heard them answer on the other end, the man did as well. He pulled over the van right there and looked back at me. He then tried to grab my phone from me and I went to open the door, but it was locked. The guy then unbuckled and moved into a better position to take my phone. I could hear the 911 operator talking on the other end of the phone, but I wasn't able to tell them what was going on. The man reached one more time and this time he did get my phone away from me. He grabbed it and then went back to the front seat, rolled his window down and threw my phone as far as he could. As he was doing so, I tried to roll down my window as well. To my surprise, it worked. I thought it would have been locked, but it rolled down, and when the window got all the way down, I wasted no time and crawled out of it onto the street. The man then opened his door, but I was already running towards another car in traffic. He then just got back inside his van and sped off. I ran to retrieve my phone and then called the police once more. I waited on the side of the road for them until they arrived a couple of minutes later. I was able to tell them everything and then got a taxi to my hotel. Unfortunately, all of my things were still in the guy's van, but luckily the next day he ended up being caught and I was able to get it all back. A few years ago, I went to the airport to pick up my friend. He had gone out of town for a week or so and asked if I would pick him up when he got back. We were good friends, so I agreed. I got the landing time of his flight, which was supposed to be almost 11 p.m. It was a little late, but I didn't have anything the next morning, so I was fine with it. I ended up arriving at the airport early that night, and his flight hadn't even landed yet. I decided to park and get out to walk around. I never liked just sitting in the car and waiting, and thought it would be more fun to walk around the airport a little bit. When I got inside the airport, it wasn't very busy at all, probably because how late it was. There were still people here and there, but at this hour, not very crowded. I was simply walking down the hallway right after getting inside, when all of a sudden, I got a tap on the shoulder. I looked and saw a man standing right behind me. He had blonde hair, was about six feet tall, and wore a t-shirt and jeans. He was smiling and asked me if I remembered him. I didn't recognize the guy at all, and I shook my head. I was trying to think of where or if at all I had seen this guy before, but after a few seconds, I was sure that I hadn't. He told me we had gone to school together, but I was pretty sure we didn't. At the time, I had only just recently graduated college, so I wasn't that far removed from my school years. I asked the guy which school he went to with me, and he replied with high school. I went to a pretty small high school, and still I didn't recognize him. 
I was pretty sure he was lying, but I didn't know why. He asked me if my flight had just landed, and asked if I needed a ride or something. I told him no, I was good, and I was just picking up a friend. The guy's smile went away, and he then just said, all right, and then walked away. It was a strange interaction, and I went on with my way after that. I waited for a while, and eventually my friend's flight landed. I got a text from him, and I walked over to where he would get his checked bag. It took about 30 more minutes for him to get off the flight and get his bag, but finally we were ready to leave. We walked out to the parking lot where I had parked. My friend put his bag in my trunk, and I got in the driver's seat. As soon as I did, though, I noticed the guy who claimed he had known me from earlier. He was sitting in a car directly across from me and one spot over. His car was backed into the parking space, and so was mine, so he was staring right at me in the driver's seat. But when I saw him, he looked away. My friend then got in, and when he saw me, he asked what was wrong. I told him the story, and he thought it was weird but mostly funny. We saw this guy in the car, and he was now looking down at his lap like maybe he was on his phone. After that, we pulled out and left, and the man did the same behind us. This was slightly concerning and also surprised us. He was driving a blue Chevy Malibu, it appeared, and we left the airport and went on our way back home, all while being followed by this guy. It took about 20 minutes to get back from the airport, mainly on one freeway. We drove all the way down this road until the exit, and the Chevy Malibu following us did the same. I realized at this point that this guy was probably going to follow us wherever we went. I had no idea why but I decided to pull off and just take a bunch of turns. We were in some random neighborhood about five, 10 minutes away from my friend's place, and we just kept turning down one street after another, all while the guy behind us did the same thing. This continued on for about 15 minutes straight. The guy just wouldn't seem to give up. Eventually though, finally, the car suddenly sped up and drove past us. When it did, it honked, and the driver, as well as two people in the back seat, all flipped us off and then sped away. After that, I drove back, dropped my friend off, and then went home. I'm not sure who that guy was, why he claimed to know me, or why he followed us. I also don't know who was in the car with him. So many questions I might never know, but I'm glad I haven't seen him since.